If you can't screen mirror or cast your Android phone's display to your Roku TV, nothing happens when you tap on it, it keeps connecting, disappears or disconnects, or the TV doesn't pop up on screen share to begin with, then I'll show you how you can fix any of the screen mirroring issues by following some simple troubleshooting. First of all, double check that both your TV and your smartphone is connected to the same Wi-Fi. But if they are already connected to the same network and you still can't screencast, then you can try resetting your TV's network settings. To do that, we will need to open settings first. From there, go to system, then advanced system settings. Select network connection reset, then reset connection. And now your TV will disconnect from the Wi-Fi and restart. Then just connect back to the Wi-Fi and try screencasting again. If you still can't mirror your Android device's screen, then we will try cold booting our Roku TV. To do that, just unplug its power cord and keep it disconnected for about 5 minutes. Then plug your TV back in and try screencasting again. If it's still not working, then let's check our Roku TV's screen mirroring settings. So go to settings again, then system, now open screen mirroring settings, then ensure that Screen mirroring mode is either set to prompt or always allow. Then we will also check screen mirroring devices and make sure that we haven't blocked any device by mistake. If you see there's any device under always blocked, then just highlight it and select remove device from the list. And this will fix your Roku TV not popping up on screen mirroring and you should be able to connect to it without any issues. But in your case, if the problem persists, then you can try connecting a different Android phone and see if it connects, or you can connect both your phone and TV to a different Wi-Fi network, such as a mobile hotspot, and then try screencasting. These steps should be enough to fix any kind of screen mirroring issues of your Roku TV. If not, then there may be some issues with your TV, so you can contact Roku support for further help. And that's all for this video, let us know your feedback, give us a thumbs up if this helped, and you can always subscribe for more. See ya!